हाईवे उट्टा पंजाब गंगू बाई राजी गली बॉय इमेजिन बींग ओन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट स्टार्स इन बॉलीवुड कैमरास फॉलो यू एवरीवेयर फैंस लुक अप टू यू एवरी मूव यू मेक इज वॉच जज एंड टॉक अबाउट नाउ Add ADHD and anxiety to that mix. So I was recently clinically diagnosed with ADHD and um, anxiety. That's what Alia Butt has been dealing with, and what she just revealed might change how we see mental health forever. Kudos to her. Hello guys, this is Dr. Palneepan Manikam, and today we are talking about ADHD, but not just the usual stuff. We are going deeper into something that most people don't talk about: the shocking link between ADHD and your gut. Yes, your gut, the place where food is digested. But what if I told you that the gut could also be the reason why some people struggle with focus, anxiety, and even energy crashes? Alia Butt recently shared that she has ADHD. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Order. It is one of the most common misunderstood condition out there. It is not just about being easily distracted. It is a condition that physically changes how the brain works. People with ADHD find it hard to focus, get easily distracted, and struggle to complete tasks. Some feel like the brain is always jumping from one thing to another. Others feel exhausted because their mind never stops. For Alia, ADHD showed up in many ways. She zoned out during conversations. Finds it hard to. focus on the task and even feels her body heat up in stressful situations that last part is important it is not just anxiety it is a sign that her adhd is affecting her body not just her brain and now science is revealing something surprising adhd is not just a brain condition it is connected to the gut yes your gut ADHD is connected to your gut a place that people usually don't think about unless they have a stomach ache but here is the thing your gut does way more than just process food it actually controls your mood focus and even your energy levels inside your gut there are trillions of bacteria some are good some are bad together they form what is called the gut microbiome when this microbiome is balanced your brain works better but when it is off it can lead to brain fog mood swings impulsiveness and trouble focusing all common adhd symptoms now think about what alia said my body was heating up in social gatherings and i was like physically responding to it she feels her body heat up in stressful situations that's not random or anxiety stress messes with the gut it triggers inflammation which makes adhd symptoms was your gut also produces important brain chemicals like serotonin and dopamine these chemicals control how happy focused and motivated you feel when the gut is unhealthy these chemicals get thrown off balance the result is more adhd symptoms more anxiety more mental fog alia has decided to manage her adhd without medication this is definitely possible that means she's probably exploring natural methods like diet exercise and stress management and guess what all of these things Things improve gut health. She has said that she feels the most present when she is acting or spending time with her daughter. This makes sense, and there is a scientific reason behind this. Doing things you love releases good chemicals in your brain. It also helps your gut stay healthy. Happy experiences strengthen the gut-brain connection. When you are mentally happy, your gut is happy as well. But let's talk about the biggest problem for both ADHD and gut health: stress. Being an actor is stressful. The pressure to perform. The constant public attention the long hours it is a lot and stress is one of the worst things for gut health when stress takes over it can cause inflammation in the gut this leads to digestion problems low energy and mental fog it also makes adhd symptoms worse that is why stress management is a big deal things like meditation deep breathing and good sleep are not just fancy routines they are actually necessary for keeping the brain and gut in balance now let's talk about food what you eat affects your brain a healthy diet keeps your gut bacteria balanced a bad diet throws everything off and when the gut is off the brain struggles alia has said in her interview that she never eats sugar that's a smart choice because sugar is one of the worst things for adhd it causes energy crashes makes it harder to focus and feeds bad bacteria in the gut cutting out sugar can help stabilize mood improve focus and reduce impulsiveness foods that are good for gut health include things like yogurt leafy greens 
nuts and whole grains. These foods support gut bacteria which in turn helps the brain function better. Of course, ADHD is complicated. There is no single cause and no single cure. But the gut-brain connection is a huge piece of the puzzle. More research is being done but already many people are seeing results by changing their diet and reducing the stress levels. And it is really great that Alia Bhatt has openly stated about having ADHD because her openness about ADHD is helping remove the stigma. But her journey also teaches us something very important. ADHD is not just about the brain, it is about the entire body. The brain and gut are connected when one is off, the other suffers. So what does this mean for the rest of us? Even if you don't have ADHD, your gut health plays a huge role on how you feel every day. The way you eat, manage stress and taking care of your body affects your ability to think clearly and feels good. Alia's story is a reminder that health is not just about labels or diagnosis, it's about understanding how the body works as a whole. When we take care of our gut, we take care of our mind. Millions of people are struggling with this without even realizing it. Share this with them. It might change their life. And if you found this interesting, please hit that subscribe button because that motivates us to give you more good quality content. Until next video, stay happy, stay gutsy, may God bless you.